Formula 2 2020 has finally been added to the F1 2020 game. The update arrived this morning and we can now finally drive some 2020 F2 machinery and uh, you know the updated cars, liveries, rosters and the big change of course, the change from 15 inch wheels to 18 inch ones. So yeah, the cars are fully up to date and I'm really, really excited about this. Uh, we're gonna do a video today doing a bit of a race and showcasing the update to you guys. Now, real quick, as someone who did an entire career mode season last year on F1 2019, I feel like I've got a pretty strong understanding of the handling and how these cars should drive. So I am expecting some differences in terms of uh, the difference in, in the wheels from the 15 to 18 inch wheels. There should be some differences and uh, some changes in terms of the handling model. So I'm curious to see how that works out for us. And uh, as you can tell by the webcam, I'm wearing the hat and I'm wearing pretty much red all over and I'm about as close as it gets to being a Prima driver. So we are going to drive, of course, as the reigning champion, Mick Schumacher, pretty much like every other video you're going to see, I think, from other creators and YouTubers on the platform. Now, if you guys are going to enjoy today's video, slap a like on it, subscribe for more content like this, and let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do some more F2-related content, possibly an F2 career mode. And uh, yeah, let's run you through it, and let's see all the updates. So first up, we have Dams, of course. They were driven by Sean Galile and Mr. Dan Tictum. Yuri Vips did step in for a few races because Sean Galal did have a broken back, I believe, and uh, Yuri Vips did a few races. But in the end, um, those kind of things aren't going to be in this update. It's going to be the you know the default F2 season as it was. So these guys driving for Dams. Then Yudovic Rosie, of course, Guan Yu Zhou, and Callum Eilat, of course, the runner-up in the championship. And uh, probably the most complete, you know, one of the most complete lineups on the entire grid of Formula 2. Then ART, we've got Marcus Armstrong, of course, Ferrari Academy driver, and also Christian Lungard. Again, another strong lineup and uh, two very quick drivers. Next up, we have Carlin and, of course, the infamous Yuki Tsunoda, who could be stepping up to F1 next year with Alfa Tauri, so keep your eyes open for that one. This weekend, he's going to be testing the Alfa Tauri after the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, so uh, something to watch out for. And Jehan Ruvula, who won the very last race this season, I believe, in the uh, Bahrain or Seke Grand Prix uh, sprint race. We then have Campos. Jack Aitken, of course, is currently racing for Williams or was racing for Williams this past weekend. That's Sakir and uh, Guillermo Samaya, of course. We then look at Chavruz. We've got Louis Delatraz, bit of an F2 veteran now. And alongside him, Pedro Piquet. Next up, MP Motorsport, Nobuharu Matsushita, who was replaced by Giuliano Alesi towards the end of the season, and his teammate, Felipe Drugovic, who has been, of course, the standout driver in that team this season. Then next up, we have HWA, and it's going to be Artem Markov now, I believe, a real veteran of F2, seven seasons, I think he's been in there now, and Giuliano Alesi, who um, was there at the start, then moved to MP, and I believe it was Teo Pucher who stepped up to be... Um, Artem's teammate in the last few races. We then have Prima, of course, and we've got Mick Schumacher, the world champion, and Robert Schwartzman, and probably the strongest lineup on the entire grid. Then we have Trident, and we've got Roy Nassani and Marino Sato, probably the weakest lineup, I think, on the entire grid. Uh, Marino Sato, another driver who will be testing for Alpha Tari in the Young Drivers Test this weekend. And then finally, High Tech, and we've got this guy, and we've also got Luca Giotto. So, yeah, overall, there you go. There is your lot. But today, we're going to be racing as Mick Schumacher. And I think it's fitting, considering the hat I'm wearing and, you know, my affiliation. And Michael Schumacher was my all-time favorite driver. So let's jump into it. It's taken me a bit of a while to get used to this. But now we're starting to find a bit of a rhythm. This lap, I'm on an absolute flyer. Let's see if we can just nail the final corner here. A little bit safe on the braking, but the exit's very good. This is going to be my last lap as I'm running out of fuel now, so let's see where this puts us. And it's going to be P5, so we're still a way off the pace. I've got to be honest, I've chosen Bahrain, which is probably the most difficult track in terms of AI pace. And I've had a good few laps, default set up, just to kind of get to grips with it. And one thing you have to do is run the brake bias on 50, because locking up is crazy on this mod. Like, I can't explain it, but... It was pretty bad last year, but the lockup is so easy to do on this if you run ABS off. Um, but what they have done is they've made it easier to put the power down. So locking up is more frequent, but you can get the power down earlier. So I quite like it, actually. I really enjoy the handling. Um, I think it's much improved, as are the sounds. So, so far, first impressions I really like. But uh, yeah, let's move to a race, and uh, we're going to see how this goes. 
And for those of you that will be asking me in the comments, here are the camera settings I'm using for this particular car in this video. So you guys can make a note and uh, use them yourselves in uh, your F2 saves or F2 races. So feel free to use them. Here we go then guys, it's time for the race. Now real quick, what I have done is I've actually tweaked the difficulty. I've lowered it to 108. Um, I was about a second off the pace in practice and uh, you know we are fighting through the field. We're starting from P10, so just for the sake of the video, we're gonna go 108 and play it safe and uh, we'll kind of get faster as we go along. And worth noting, uh, besides that, you know, we're going to start the hard tyres, there's going to be no pit stops, so all the way to the finish, uh, pretty much like a sprint race, and we're going to have a bit of fun, hopefully you guys enjoy it, and uh, fingers crossed, we actually get a good result, so let's jump into it, and let's get this race underway. Well, this is it then, we're going to see how we get on here, race starts tend to be terrible for me in these cars, let's see, that wasn't too bad actually. I think Drogovic got off to an absolute flyer there, up ahead. We're going to go to the outside of Turn 1. There's always a bit of room out here. A few cars dive bombing, it looks like, into Turn 1. So the outside one is definitely the place to be. As we cut Turn 2 there by accident. I think that was Sean Galal who actually dived into Turn 1, so fair play. I'm running um, one of the default setups in the game. So I'm running the increased top speed setup for this race. Um, because it is bar rain, you need a bit of straight line speed to compete. And also, last year, um, when I did the career mode on F1 2019, the F2 cars were always a bit quicker than me on the straight, so um, it's always good for me to run a bit less uh, aero just to kind of compete on the straight as we lock up the rears there on the braking. Tyres feel a little bit cold at the minute. Um, am I right? Yeah, they're still coming to temperature here. So Drogovic holds on for now as I try to challenge, but P8, good start, and uh, we're well in the points, so. Let's see how this goes. We've got Callum Arlott behind and Guillermo Samaya behind Callum. So what a start from the Brazilian there. But the first target really is to stay within DRS. Um, so lap through, we need to be within a second of the car ahead. Makes a big difference around here. Three DRS zones, and especially because we tend to lack a bit of straight line speed, we need to be in that mix. Strict corner cutting as well. Actually, I think we're pretty quick here. I'm going to try and get Drogovic. I feel like we've got some momentum. You can see on the straight, we get dropped. So already lacking a bit of straight line speed, even with the increased uh, top speed setup. Braking has improved compared to practice. So I was talking about the lockups before. It feels like um, as the track is rubbered in, you can actually brake really late now. So that's a good thing. I'm happy about that. So all things considered, you know, being able to get the power down earlier and the braking being, you know, a lot easier to brake late. I'm actually quite happy with this. Um, the handling is brilliant. I absolutely love it. And I think you're going to see a bit of a rise in the popularity of F2 cars, I think, because this is really fun to drive already, and I'm loving it. Anyway, that side, I'm a lot better than at least Drogovic on the brakes, so I want to try and get by this lap. We're going to try this move again here. Let's see if I can get nice and close into this section. Tipping the car in. There it is, getting the drive through there. Down the inside. Third gear going to short shift to try and get the drive out of there. That's better, but Drogovic still holds on. Thought about going around the outside, but not quite possible. Can I get the drive out of there? Not, I can't. So he's hanging on for now, the Brazilian, but we're going to keep the pressure on. This is a good spot for me, this part of the racetrack. If I can get the traction down through here. Nice and early in fourth gear, which we do. Look at this. Getting right underneath the MP Motorsport driver. I'm going to go for a little Senderino here. Down the inside of Felipe Drogovic. And we're through. And up to P7. Up next is Sean Galar, of course. Mick Schumacher's former teammate from 2019 in Prima. Let's see if we can put some pressure on him. Through the final corner, just trying to get that traction down. I think we're going to be on the back foot here. Lacking a bit of straight line speed. Here comes Drogovic. He's coming back at us. I'm not going to defend it because it's kind of pointless, really. Just hope we've got enough on the brakes to stay ahead. Drogovic is very, very late on the brakes there, but we're going to just hang it all the way around the outside. And crucially, we still have DRS on the car ahead, which is brilliant. So here we go then. The race is going to start to open up now with DRS. So let's try and get after Sean Galil. Purple middle sector. We've got both Carlins and uh, both Dam's cars ahead of us as we get a warning for track limits. 
of course we're running strict corner cutting on this race so uh, that's what you get even though it's only just outside the white line that's enough for a warning bit hot on the brakes there that's going to ruin my exit momentum unfortunately which is a bit of a shame because we was actually quite close to Galal there but we're not going to really challenge anymore and I might have just thrown away my opportunity at a fastest lap pace looks good though and I think we can definitely get past some of these guys oh locking the rears a little bit in to turn one there but actually we've made that work quite well for us if I can get the drive out of here up towards turn four which isn't too bad but again we're lacking a bit of straight line speed that's the issue with these but we're going to keep the pressure on you guys know what's coming up now if I can nail this section we're going to go for a big old send into turn eight here we go yep 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 that's good that's on the money aggressive over that curb Down the inside of Sean Galal there. Gonna squeeze him onto the curb. And there we go. Up to P6. We're through. So we've got the Ruvla as Galal goes back up the inside into turn 10. Wow, what a move from him. Fair play. Caught me completely off guard there. I was looking at the positions in the top left. Will Galal come back at us? Yes, he will. I managed to go quite late on the brakes through there. If I can get the power down, which I do. We can stay ahead, but I've dropped out of the RS range of Dan Tickton, which is not good. If I can stay close through here, that would help. But uh, we've got the Ruvula running in the last podium spot. I think I've just done enough to hold on to Tickton's DRS here. Let's see. Yes, we have. Crucial that. Really, really important that you don't drop out of the RS range. So Tickton, Sonoda, and the Ruvula ahead of us. New fastest laps being set by the AIT boys. Is Galal going to challenge here? He's closing in. Look at the closing speed, but I think we should be okay. Oh, the, the car did not slow down there on the braking. I've given Galal the invitation, but we're going to just force him onto the curb there. This has been a poor first turn, really, from us. And look at this. We've got cars behind looking for overtakes. I'm super late on the brakes into turn four. Trying to make that work. Can we get the drive out of there? We do, but we're still side by side. Right on the outside we go. There it is. All right, can I actually get a breakaway now? I stop making mistakes. We've completely dropped out of the RS range off the cars ahead, which isn't good. But we'll try and push on anyway. Trying to close up to the cars ahead. But uh, we need DRS, that's so important. I'm also dropping Galal, but again, with the DRS, the cars ahead pull away and Galal catches back up. I've actually tweaked the brake bias and moved it back up to 52, and that's actually giving me more performance. So um, it's actually better that way because I'm not locking the rears. I've got to be careful with the front locking, but it's a lot more manageable in the race. So I think 52 is a good balance, actually. Let's see if we can get DRS this lap, though. Okay, we've done it. We've got back within DRS range here. Last lap was great, and this lap is even better. Oh, that's not going to help, though. Can't be doing that. Try to get a bit too confident in second gear. Heading on to the last lap, we're going to give it everything. It's going to be so, so key. This is where I'm pretty strong, this section here. And I can really close the gap to these guys. So far, they're not making any moves, so it's a no, they're not feeling a move on the Ruvula. Here we go, then. We're in the mix. This is what we want, and this should be a new fastest lap as well, unless the guys in the lead set a new one, which to be fair, they've absolutely vanished off into the distance. Final corner, trying to close the gap here. We're going to lose out on the straight, of course, as always. Armstrong, 41-5. We should smash that. This should be a new fastest lap, and it is. 41-1 as we head into the last lap of the race. I'm starting to get quicker as well. Sonoda and Deruvula battling away. I've managed to get on top of turn one now, which is great. And look at this. Getting nice and close to Tipton here. Up towards turn four. Can we get a move? I think we're a bit far back again. We know we lack straight line speed. But you know what corner's coming up now. That's my best corner, I think, for overtaking. That's not going to help, but we're still in the mix. That's okay. Flip the car left. There it is. Try and get that run. Down the inside on the brakes. Third gear. Get the power down. And there we go. We're ahead of Tictum now. 
Don't lock up. That's lovely. Get the drive. It's not over yet. I think, obviously, we're gonna it's going to take a miracle to get anything more out of this race, but you never know. I'm pretty good through here. Trying to get the power down nice and early. Let's keep the pressure up. I'd love it if uh, Sonoda would go for a move on Daruval in the last corner. I'm working so hard. I'm on two warnings as well, so I can't get another one. Otherwise, we're going to get a penalty. But look at this. We're really starting to fly now. It's a shame there's not a couple more laps to go. Far on the corner. Bit wide, but we're going to hang on to it just about. And there we go then. Lungard picks up the win. And we're going to come home in P5 and the fastest lap. I'll take that. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Brilliant stuff from ART today. What a superb victory. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? Although the Formula 2 car are all the same spec, the winner just looked better out there. It would have been a combination of getting those tires up to running temperature faster and driving to the condition on track. They made it look easy out there today. ART, the French team who have been racing since the 90s in various forms of most sport, are once again back on the winner's podium today after a brilliant display of driving skill. There we go then guys, that is going to be it for the race here today. Christian Lungard picks up the win ahead of Marcus Armstrong making it a 1-2 for ART. And then it's both Carlins, the Ruvula ahead of Sonoda. We finish P5 with the fastest lap ahead of Dan Tictum and Sean Galile. And then Filippo Drogovic, Callum Eilat and Guillermo Samaya picking up the final point there for Campos. And then missing out the points, we have PK, Schwartzman, uh, Guan Yuzhou, uh, Markolov, uh, Matsushita, Louis Dertraz, Roy Nisani, Jack Aitken, Alesi, Sato, Giotto and... Uh, this dude at the back of the grid so yeah guys that is going to be it for the video here today and something different and there might be more of these and something fresh is going to help give the f1 game a bit more longevity so the timing of this update is pretty decent and uh, guys let me know if you want to see more content regarding this update and uh, yeah I'm, i'd be very happy to do so because i really enjoyed that the handling on this is insane so i'm looking forward to it but guys if you enjoyed the video slap a like on it subscribe if you're new to the channel guys for more f2 content and daily f1 content on the channel and uh, finally check out the two videos on your screen right now give them a watch let me know what you think and i'll be back very soon guys for some more videos and uh, tomorrow probably for some more my team content but until then guys take care and it's goodbye from me